Welcome, and as always, there will be a link down in the description box if you wish to read the patch notes at your own leisure. We've got the patch notes for 1.09, that's for PS4, but it's title update 2.1.0. New features, AI teammates, the long-awaited AI teammates are joining Nomad's rank in the next title update. Teammates can be activated and deactivated from the lobby menu, and all of them can be customizable from the same menu. Regroup, teammates come back to the players, go to, teammates go to the next position. Cleared hot, teammates engage with enemy, seeking cover nearby. Hold position, teammates go to the closest cover and stick to their position. To learn more about the AI teammates, check out our Deep Dive article. Live Event 2. Like in Title Update 1.1.0, we're bringing new limited content for two weeks. Live Event 2 will start on July 16th and will end on the 29th. This event will bring out nine new missions. Three hostage rescues, three convoy ambush, and three camp assault. Those missions will be available for players to pick in the objectives board. Each mission fills a gauge that will unlock exclusive time-limited rewards. The missions will be playable again by players once the event is over, but it will not grant more rewards. We will release our full mission briefing for Live Event 2 on Wednesday, July 15th. Gunsmith and Weapon Update To improve the customization in the Gunsmith, we have added the ability for players to select a firing mode by choosing two kinds of trigger, single fire or brr, burst. Whichever mode the player chooses, it will only impact the shots fired and not have any impact on the damage actually done. Single fire, one bullet fired per pressure on the trigger. Burst, three bullets fired per pressure on the trigger. And again, to read more about the updates, coming to the Gunsmith and Very Weaponsmith in 2.1.0, check out our dedicated article. Weapons and Attachments Objective Board Update. In order to make the Objective Board menu more valuable and engaging to players, information about weapons and adjustments is no longer hidden by default. Even if you've not discovered any intel about a weapon attachment, it will now show up on the board as a gray tile with the name and silhouette to indicate the weapon family it belongs to. Once you've found intel on the weapon attachment, it will now have a tag to easily indicate where it can be acquired. These tags include PvP, Maria Shop, Missions, Raid, Ubisoft Club, and Classes Rank 10. Alert Messages Players were missing alert messages in HUD due to settings, so visual improvements were made in messages to fit the HUD settings. Messages were adapted to be displayed with a discrete visual. Immersive Mode does not allow or show alert messages anymore except for warning and immediate action. Informative and attention messages. No loop, no faded stripes, smaller width than text, warning. Messages, text less bold, slower animation loop, smaller width, critical message, faster animation loop. Project Titan, new intel gathering. Phase variations out on July 21st. New variations to the intel gathering phase between bosses have been added to raid pool to bring players more variety. Those variations include new information about objectives and new intel for players to collect, which provide different associated stories for each raid boss. And as a reminder, Project Titan resets every Tuesday at 9 a.m. UTC, so there will be different intel objectives and stories each week for players. Five new intel gathering phase variations in Sector 1, five new intel gatherings in Sector 2, Sector 2, 3 new Intel Gathering Phase Variations, Sector 3. Character and Customization, New Items in Maria Shop, Skill Credits, Patches, 39. Flag Patches for the following countries, I'm not going to name them all. There's a lot of countries, you could see the list there really quick. There's 39 of them in total. Customization, Backpacks, Hill Backpack, Head, Neck, 3, Covered, X, I mean... These names, to be honest with you, I could tell you the name, but it, it doesn't do anything. You get one backpack, three head necks, five tops, 19 gear in total. Uh, hill set, there's two. Chest, there's five. Gloves, there's three. Pants, there's five. Shoes, there's four. Weapons, there's one, a new weapon, the Echelon SMG. There's new attachments, seven of them, three muzzle brakes. For the 762, 338, and 556 control shield, there's three scopes, SLX-5, Sight, VC-16, Sight, and the Loophole Hollow Sight, ASR, 100-round magazine. Vehicles, five, there's three cars, Resistance Car Outcast, Ecstatic Outcast, two helicopters. New Live Event 2 Resistance Items. 
5 Customization Rainstorm Coat, Armored Sport Zipped Sweater, Rebel Ballistic Mask, 3E Eclipse Balaclava Helmet, and a Tiger Facial Paint. 7 Gear, Coyote Plate Carrier, Energy Strike Gloves, Thigh Pads, Pants, Classic Sneakers, Armored Dual Harness Vest, Armored Soft Gloves, Armored Heat Regulating Tactical Pants, Weapons 2, New Weapons, Strike Designator, Unlockable and Usable After the Live Event is Over, New Variations, Paladin 9 SNR Survival, Attachment 1, Prism Silencer, New Ubisoft Club Items, Ubisoft Forward, Customization 3, L3 Insight NVG, iAware TM NVG, Model 2740, LPN MV. So, please note that the following items are only redeemable via Ubisoft Club to players who participated in the Ubisoft Forward stream on July 12th and have their Ubisoft Club account linked to their platform of choice if you missed the stream players will have a future opportunity to receive them we will share closer to the date when players will be able to get them new items in store ghost coins urban hero bundle all items also available individually kevlar ballistic helmet urban hero jacket airtight backpack first spear operator outer gloves black hawk terrain mid boots modern ninja bundle all items also available individually ua heat gear tactical balaclava spandex shirt high tech infiltration pants silent shoes blacklist mk2 bundle you uh, not available individually. So you get the Desert, Snow Hill, and Jungle. Weapon Reskins 2, Echelon SMG Custom, Maxim 9 Custom. My goodness, there's a lot of patch notes. Observer Mode. Coming with the new title update is also the Observer Mode in the Ghost War Custom Matches. The Observer Mode, Mord, mode will allow an extra person to have a global and individual view on the PvP game ongoing. It includes player's tag and status, chosen weapons, ability used, position on the map, PvP UI widgets to improve the quality of the PvP mode in the game, we added the option for players to show or hide several widgets and to modify a couple of settings. PvP team widgets, see which players and abilities are still alive in the game. Drone counter, PvP notifications, PvP team status updates, PvP score, PvP surveillance HUD, see and modify the surveillance system marker settings, display size, background shading. Icon marker surveillance system, see the surveillance system markers on the minimap, PvP kill log, PvP sabotage HUD. Item Drop. Item Drop is also a new feature coming to improve the PvP mode in our game. Players are now able to drop items from the item wheel and allow other co-op players to pick them up. You can drop any consumable that is not a class-specific item or the drone. For example, if you got an extra syringe, <laughs> I don't think you want to be sharing your syringes. What are you doing there, Ubisoft? You don't want to be advertising that. Drop it for a hurt teammate to pick up and get back into the fight. Have an extra grenade? Spread the firepower to your teammates to corner your opponents. New Ghost War missions. Bringing out new content for our PvP players, we are integrating new Ghost War missions. Those new missions will include new challenges and achievements for our players. Pursuer. Kill 10 enemies detected with pulse vision. I gotta do this quickly, sorry. Trapper. Concuss 10 enemies with the shock pistol. Support. Buff 10 friendlies with the supply drone. Defense drone specialist. Hit 100 <clears throat> excuse me, hit enemies a hundred times with the defense drone. Patch highlights, made improvements to movement, running animations visible for further camera settings, fixed an issue where the DMR rifle caused an instant kill glitch. This issue has been addressed by the team as per player reports. Please let us know if you still see this occur in the game, either the same or in a new form. Fixed an issue where the logistics expert milestone could not be completed. Fixed an issue which could prevent players from unlocking upgrades for MK2 and MK3 even with perks unlocked in Ghost War. Fixed several clipping issues on items. See the full list of items impacted by this fix below. Fury, Fixit, and Vasily figures will now be available by default in the game. Fixed an issue where NPCs who are killed with a headshot would shout, uh, you know, because it hurts. Fixed an issue where Reload input would be triggered if players cancel heal animation. Fixed an issue where unlocking clues during what's the plan to extract a strategist. Investigation would not complete the mission. Fix some issues affecting key binding, or where echelon sonar vision would not mark kamikaze drones during cerebrus fights, or where shaders would be displayed in high density on collectibles or pickable items, or where taking the intel would not update the intel description in the HUD. Added missing UMP. CQC and folding iron sight models in the gunsmith fixed an issue where there would be inconsistency on damage to drones, text on upgrades for different weapon classes. 
Patch notes AI fixed an issue where Poison Behemoth could get stuck when hitting the chopper, or where heavy NPCs wouldn't be killed with hack turrets or miniguns, or where ogre drones would move near camp before exploding, which would alert all enemies nearby, or an issue in co-op where automated turrets would be redeployed after a host migration. Audio. Fixed an issue where several audio logs on world lore wouldn't play or would be cut off, or an issue that occurred with the package drop sound on delivery drones, or where shooting sound would be missing on C, SPF BAL. Exploits. Fixed an issue where the DMR rifle caused an instant kill glitch. We've already talked about that. Gameplay fixed an issue where the engineer wasp drones that would sometimes cause them not to deploy, or an issue where sync shot drone stealth kills were counted as a normal kill in the stats, or where drones would not be destroyed when hitting vehicles, or where players were not able to switch between normal night and thermal vision while going up or down ladders, or an issue affecting aim sensitivity option while in grab animation state, or where players would get stuck sliding at Aurora weather station. Or where grabbing an NPC while they were getting out of a vehicle would make the NPC replicate the player's actions. Or where binoculars would be reserved in photo mode. Balance the cost of crafting bandages compared to the cost of crafting syringes. Or where reload input would be triggered if players cancel heal animation. Or animation issues related to the breaching kit. Or where missing binoculars should now be able to find them in their inventory. Or an issue where NPCs killed with a headshot would shout. An issue where NPCs would open their eyes after being killed. <laughs> That's creepy. I love it. I got to get uh, some footage of that. Uh, fixed an issue where the player would be able to dive prone into shallow water. Or where the main character's arm wouldn't appear while aiming down the sight on certain weapons. Look, you stupid bastard. You got no arms left. You know, Monty Python. Made improvements to movement animations visible from further camera settings. An issue where the healing animation on the left arm wouldn't be synced when wearing the fourth echelon top and pants. Items fixed several clipping issues on customizable items. These fixes affect the following accessories. Backpacks, right arm tattoos, heavy duty gas masks, TCI patrol 2 headset, judge mask 1, assault, and soft gloves. Fixed several clipping issues on customizable items. On thigh pants, uh, forest tactical pants, fourth echelon pants. Sorry, how much longer are these Kyle pants fixed clipping issues? We'll just say it fixed a lot of clipping issues with a lot of customizable items. Sorry, I am unfortunately in a huge rush. Fixed a graphical issue that appeared on Commissar Slack's pants, or where players were unable to dismantle the walker vest received from Project Titan Raid, or where players could see a black hole on the she mag in the customizable menu, or where belt color would change in the bivouac customized menu. And then we've got uh, a bunch of, uh, oh man, this is really long. You know what's really sad is I just don't know if I can get through all of this, to be honest with you. I'm going to do my best here. Fixed an issue where unlocking clues during what's the plan to extract a strategist investigation would not complete the mission, or where two wasp drones would be invisible in the training center camp during Black Sheep mission, or where players would get stuck inside a rock after respawning during an eye for an eye mission at Darkwood Island Port. Or where an NPC would be missing during Talk to Skell about a plan objective. Or where prisoner NPCs would get stuck inside the cage during Hostile Takeover guerrilla mission. Or where players were unable to drive a helicopter after killing an enemy that was trying to drive during an innocuous, ingenuous, genius when in co-op. Fixed an issue where the protect the programmer's objective would sometimes fail if a co-op player is shot in a vehicle. Uh, or where... Um, there was an issue which would prevent players from collecting the last clue and finishing what is the Claw Project investigation. PC fixed an issue where holding the escape key when in bivouac would close and open the menu, or some issues affecting key bindings, or some issues that were affecting text chat while on PC. PvP fixed an issue where the logistics expert milestone could not be completed, or an issue where PvP voice chat would not mute properly after leaving a squad or where a round would not finish automatically when the enemy leaves the team during a loadout phase, or where Panther rank and class challenge could be completed with SMG weapons, or where defusing a sabotage objective would have no effect if a host migration happens during the action, or where engineer's defense drone would remain highlighted by sensor launcher or intel grenade if the engineer is highlighted when deploying the drone, fixed an issue where PvP player stats would sometimes reset after rebooting, Corrupted stats will not be stored to their correct value, but they will increase properly once 2.1.0 is released. Fixed an issue where the drone hunter perk would not work for engineer-specific drone, 
or where toxic gas from gas drones would not appear on the minimap, or an issue where the matchmaking search feedback page was missing on the PvP squad page, fixed an issue where the players would be pulled into another match when it's found even after quitting the session, or where the performance page would be blocked if the round ends with text chat open, or where players would not receive the kill assist if several seconds passed after they dealt damage to the enemy, or where players could not take cover behind specific objectives, or some issues where parts of the maps could be seen before entering the game, or where notifications and HUD elements would disappear in specific situations, fixed terrain issues on some PvP maps, fixed an issue where engineers' drones would not attack marked enemies hiding behind a wall, added red color on enemy markers for Protanopia and Deuteranopia accessibility modes, or fixed an issue on the construction site map, where players would teleport on the bridge when trying to crawl under it or clipping issues that would happen inside the water tower fence on the harbor map. Fixed some animation and gameplay issues on the Stone Creek map. Balanced Assault class so it has 3 health chunks and 10% bullet damage reduction instead of 4 in Ghost War. Fixed an issue where players were previously able to use healing items in the Radiation Circle. Fixed an issue where marking an enemy would not reward award points while using the Recon Mastery perk. Then we've got Raid fixed an issue where Echelon Sonar Vision would not mark Kamikaze drones during Cerebrus fight or where the sound would be missing during a killed in action animation if the entire squad dies before the player uh, during a boss fight, or where covered bump helmet would not drop on the raid, an issue where players would be stuck in prone position after climbing a platform boss arena, fixed an issue where players would respawn out of bounds when killed in lava, or an issue where characters would get stuck in specific locations, UI, Issue with shaders would be displayed in high intensity on collectibles or pickable items. That's been fixed. Or where changing preset size options to normal or small would not change anything on the interface except for the top right HUD elements. Or where taking the intel would not update the intel description in the HUD. Or where hovering over a weapon's stats would increase the weapon's value displayed. An issue preventing players to sort their weapons in immersive mode. That's been fixed. Or an issue where equipping weapons and gear via HUD prompt would toggle in the interface on and off or where incorrect weapon categories would be displayed for all vehicles with equipped weapons, or an issue where RU long-range FOV site would be marked as, un or as owned but couldn't be equipped, an issue where the player info thumbnail in the lobby menu would appear blank in a four-player co-op, or where the filter by name option in the objectives board menu wouldn't have functionality for scopes and underbarrels. This is some real bullshit. 18-minute patch notes. Fixed an issue where some missions couldn't be pinned or unpinned when clicking on its icon from the TAC map, or where the minimap settings would be reset to default when accessing the macro tweak custom page after a game reload. Weapons. Oh man, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Fixed an issue where the AOR2 paint would unlock or would not unlock after the conditions were met. Added some missing model parts to the gunsmith, including parts for the UMP, CQC, and folding iron sight. Fixed an issue where scope color did not fit the quantum theme pattern. Fixed an issue where selecting the pre-selected attachments in the gunsmith would sometimes make the model disappear. Or an issue where damage to drones text would be inconsistent on upgrades for different weapon classes. Fixed an issue where the camera would clip when players would aim the LMG stoner with iron sight scope. Fixed an issue where weapon connoisseur, connoisseur, challenge, don't ask me what that was, would be awarded or not be awarded after getting 80 blueprints. Fixed an issue where shooting sound would be missing on the CSFP bell. Fixed an issue which would prevent players from unlocking upgrades from the MK2, MK3, even with perks unlocked and goes where... I think I read some of these earlier, but it's part of the patch notes. Fixed an issue where the preview for tactical vertical foregrip would be missing in Victor's Gunsmith. Which leads me to my point. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll make sure not only is the vertical fore grip uh, still missing, your, you know what I'm saying? Fore skin is going to be missing, okay? Invector's Gunsmith fixed an issue that would prevent players from getting material parts after dismantling weapons in Ghost War. That was absolutely cringy. It literally took just under 20 minutes to narrate these patch notes. If you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. We already know what's going to happen to you, but I'm also going to break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, 
As always, that would be greatly appreciated, but if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls. Hopefully I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye now.